Today's word vitamin is about gut instinct. It's called lots of different things, gut instinct, intuition, knowing, higher self, whatever works for you. But the word vitamin is on gut instinct and I, I find I use that term because for some people intuition, I don't know, I suppose intuition is a more feminine kind of descriptor and maybe gut instinct is a bit more masculine. Who knows? But the word vitamins on gut instinct and what I often see, you know, when I'm talking about words and unpacking them and helping myself and other people use their language to construct a better life rather than destruct the current one that they've got. Gut instinct, I often say gut instinct intuition slash intuition, think of a set of traffic lights, stop, go and wait. Now, intuition slash gut instinct is hard to follow because it doesn't give an explanation. And generally speaking, they're both internal mechanisms. And our gut instinct will tell us to go for it, tell us to pump the brakes and stop, or flick the light of caution, the yellow light, and encourage us to decide not to decide, to slow down, to check our research. If we don't feel safe to sleep on it, give ourselves the option to delay gratification and to not be pressured by an external force. Doing what's right for us and honouring our gut instinct is like honouring our personal palate. If we go by what other people think we should like, if we look at palate, our emotional palate, and align it with perhaps our physical palate, when we go to a new restaurant or a new country and we're trying new foods, some people may love certain flavours and we might find we spit them out, and the reverse is also true. In adult life, nobody's right or wrong. If you like oysters, you don't like sweet, you don't like sour, nobody's right or wrong, it's just your palate. Now, with our gut instinct, it's so important for us to listen to what's right, wrong and unsafe for our heart and nobody can do that for us and the most important thing is to honor that intuitive whisper because I often say our ego our external self which is our masculine self which we all need like an external shell our ego is very focused by external data you know how it looks um, what we see what our senses can take in from the external focus However, our gut instinct is all about listening to internal whispers, listening for the intuitive traffic lights to give us a signal. Now, when people emotionally distract or emotionally medicate, so I'm talking booze, drugs, overeat, undereat, overexercise, underexercise, when they, you know, because when we exercise, we've got endorphins. When we overeat and undereat, we, we change blood chemistry and blood sugars. When we drink alcohol, alcohol doesn't matter whether you're, you know, you mightn't be a dangerous drinker, but you might be an anxiety drinker. Alcohol's ethanol. Ethanol's an anesthetic. Too much anesthetic, you can't read the traffic lights. You can't, you know, because intuition and gut instinct is very subtle. And I often say, you know, our gut instinct is our heart whispering direction when our ego has lost its way. So some food for thought there if you get a chance to read the word vitamin. I hope it's helpful and um, I hope it's encouraged you to turn the external noise down a little bit more, especially if you've got some important decisions you need to make, to really listen for that internal stop, go and wait and to honour that regardless of what everybody else thinks you should do. Doing what is healthy for you feels true for you and keeps you in alignment with your uh, integrity is how we build self-respect and I know I say it all the time but self-respect is the ultimate currency in life and it's the hardest thing to earn. Anyway, I'll leave it with you. Mwah. See ya.